These next two examples involve uh, independent events, but these are still finite stochastic processes. So um, I want to use a tree to, um, to help visualize the solution to these problems. All right, so in example eight, we've got Acrosonic and they're building um, loudspeakers and they're using four commits, woofer, a woofer, a mid-range, a tweeter, and an electronic crossover. And then we have some information about the quality of these four components. All right, so the quality control department has determined that 1% of the woofers are defective, 0.8% uh, of the mid-ranges are defective, um, one half percent, 0.5 percent of the tweeters are defective, and um, one and a half percent of the electronic crossovers are defective. All right, and we want to determine uh, what's the probability that a loudspeaker uh, selected at random that comes off the assembly line at Acrosonic um, is not defective. So notice it says not defective. We want to know what's the probability of it not having any defective components. All right, so it's a perfect loudspeaker. So think about where the stochastic processes or the, the stochastic events are, right? We have to select a woofer and it's either going to be defective or not defective, right? There's some chance involved there. Um, we have to select a mid-range, right? It's either going to be defective or not defective. We have to, we have to uh, select a tweeter. It's going to be defective or not defective, right? So there's a, there's a chance involved in each one of these four selections of these four components, right? We can select a crossover, and there's a one and a half chance, one and a half percent chance that it is going to be defective. So our our stochastic events are: we have to choose a woofer, we have to choose a mid-range, we have to choose a tweeter, we have to choose an electronic crossover. So we could draw a tree for that. Now this gets a little bit hairy because <laughs> it's a lot of events. We had four events we had to um, model here. So, but you could think of it as: okay, we got to select a woofer. That's our first um, stochastic event, and it's either going to be defective or not defective. So I'm going to represent that as d sub w for defective woofer, woofer right? It's either a defective or not defective, complement for not defective. And then we're going to select a mid-range, all right? So again, we have two possible outcomes. It's either defective or not defective. Defective or not defective. So I'm using d sub m for defective mid-range. And then we have to select, what's the next thing, a tweeter, right? So it's either going to be defective or not defective, right? And then we got to draw that all out, right? Defective or not defective. Complement. Defective tweeter or not defective tweeter. We have defective tweeter or not defective tweeter. Okay, now we have to get another layer here, right? Because we also have to check to select the electronic crossover. So I'm going to draw that in as well. All right, so there I've drawn in all of my um, possibilities for defective electronic crossovers. Okay, so you can see we all have a lot of different outcomes that could happen depending on whether the um, component is, uh, any, any given component is defective or not defective. So, you know, this would tell us what all the different uh, outcomes would be, right? Um, if we trace down this, this first path, you know, this is where we have a defective woofer, we have a defective mid-range, we have a defective tweeter, and a defective electronic crossover, right? So that's not good. But um, any of these paths have uh, at least one, um, at least one defective part, except for this last one, right? This last one down here, if I circle it, this particular branch is the branch that we're interested in. Right, this is the branch where we don't have a defective woofer, we don't have a defective mid-range, we don't have a defective tweeter, we don't have a defective electronic crossover. Okay, so we would like to know what's that, what's the probability of that happening. So I haven't put any probabilities on here yet. Um, so let's see, what do we know? We know that there's that one percent of the woofers are defective. All right, so 0 0.01. All right, that's the the probability of a defective woofer. So what's the probability of not having a defective woofer? Well, it's just going to be one minus that. 
So 0.99, 99% chance that we will not get a defective woofer. Um, for the mid-range, we have a 0.8% chance. Okay, so that's, if I write that as a decimal, 0 0.008, um, right? I'm going to move the decimal place two places over. So, but I'm more interested in what's the probability of not getting a defective mid-range. So that's 0 0.998. Now I could fill in the rest of these probabilities on all of the branches, but I don't really need to because I'm only concerned with this one branch that I circled. All right, so let's look at the tweeter. What's the, what's the probability of a defective tweeter? We have 0 0.005, so 0.5% uh, chance, which means that 0 0.995, there's a 99.5% chance of not getting a defective tweeter. And then finally, the electronic crossover has a probability of um, 0 0.0, 0, yeah, 1, 5, right? 1.5%. One which means that the probability that it's not defective is 0 0.985, okay? So 98.5%. So if we want to know what's the probability of, I'll just write it up here. So we want to know what's the probability of uh, not getting a defective uh, woofer, not getting a defective mid-range, not getting a defective tweeter, and not getting a defective electronic crossover, right? We want all of those parts to be not defective in order to not have a defective <laughs> um, speaker overall, right? Any one of those parts is, is defective and we're gonna have a defective speaker. So what I'm going to do is just multiply all those prob probabilities, right? We had 99% times, uh, Oops, 0. Point, let me write it in, as a decimal, 0. 0.998 times 0. 0.995 times 0. 0.985. Okay, so I can put that into my calculator. And I scroll down a little bit so you can see this better. Um, if I put that into my calculator and multiply it all out, I get 0. 0.96. Okay, so there's a 96% chance that we will not have a defective loudspeaker.